हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज राजदीप शर्मा हेयर आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो गाइज प्लीज स्टे एट होम स्टे सेफ एंड येस वी विल ओवरकम सून दिस प्रॉब्लम सो गाइज टूडे द टॉपिक इज द ट्राइंगल एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज सो लेट जस्ट स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक डेफिनेशन वॉट डज ट्राइंगल एग्जैक्टली मीन्स सो हेयर इज द डेफिनेशन अ ट्राइंगल इज अ सिंपल क्लोज कर्व मेड अप ऑफ लाइन सेगमेंट नाउ लेट जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस डेफिनेशन प्रॉपरली so here is a triangle in which i have given the name a b and c now what does the definition says a triangle is a simple closed curve as we can see that this shape is a closed curve right and it is made up of three line segments now what does this three line segment means so see in the diagram this is the line segment 1 that is ab ac is the line segment 2 and bc is the line segment 3 so have you clear with the definition a triangle is a simple closed curve that is made up of three line segments now let's just proceed a triangle has three sides as we can see in the diagram ab ac and bc these are the three sides of a triangle and it has three angles angle a angle b and angle c and a triangle has three vertices vertices simply means the name that is a b and the c now students here is a important note so i want you to write down a note in a separate book so that you can revise when it comes into your exam so first note is polygon you might have heard a word polygon so what does this polygon means a closed shape made up of line segment now understand this what is a closed shape any shape which is closed just like a triangle a triangle is a closed shape and it is made up of line segment so that is why a polygon therefore a triangle is also a polygon now the examples of the polygon are triangle square rectangle parallelogram and etc all those shapes that are closed and they are made up of line segments here is how the triangle looks like yes it is a closed and it is made up of line segment square a square is also a closed shape and it is made up of line segments in a triangle there are three line segments 1 2 and 3 but in a square there are four line segments 1 2 3 and 4 just like rectangle it is also a closed shape and it is made up of line segments and parallelogram so from this we can say that a polygon a triangle is a polygon a square is a polygon a rectangle is a polygon and a parallelogram is a polygon so are you clear with this what is polygon and what are the triangles and what is the property of polygon a closed shape that are simply made up of line segments the types of triangle now the types of a triangle on the basis of the sides the first one is the equilateral triangle as the name suggest equal a triangle in which all the angles and all the sides are equal this is known as an equilateral triangle and students just remember all the three angles of a equilateral triangle are 60 now let's just see how an equilateral triangle looks like this is an equilateral triangle as you can see in the diagram all the sides are equal this side this side and this side all the three sides are equal and all the angles are equal suppose this is this side is of 5 cm this side is of 5 cm and this will also be of 5 cm so such type of triangle is known as the equilateral triangle now the second type of triangle is the isosceles triangle now what does this isosceles triangle exactly means so in a triangle if any two sides or any two angles are equal then just it simply means it is an isosceles triangle only the two sides and two angles are same now let's just understand this with an figure in the figure you can see that this side and this side only the two sides are equal but in an previous one that is in a equilateral triangle all the three sides are equal but when it comes to an isosceles triangle just remember only two sides are equal and only two angles are equal right now suppose this side is of the 5 cm then this side will also be of 5 cm it means to say that only of the two sides should be same not the three side only two side 
Now the another type of a triangle is the scalene triangle that is exactly opposite to an equilateral triangle. Now what this this triangle wants to say if all the sides and all the angles of a triangle are unequal that means all the three sides are different. Now let's just understand this with a figure. In a figure this side is 4 cm, this side is 5 cm and this side is 6 cm. It means to say that all the three sides are different and all the angles are different. Such type of triangle is known as the scalene triangle. So we, till now we have discussed about the three triangles, equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and the last one is the scalene triangle. Let's just discuss about the parts of a triangles. So the first part of a triangle is the median of a triangle. Now what does this median of a triangle means? Let us understand this by a definition. A line segment joining the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of a opposite side is known as the median of a triangle. Now you should find this one is confusing but le let me understand this by a figure. Suppose this is a triangle in which a red line which I have shown this is a line that comes out from a vertex and it falls on a base of a triangle. Now this line is known as the median. Simply median means a line that is dividing a line into two equal parts. Now what does this two equal part means? This the distance between here from here should be same that is 4 cm and from this red point to this blue point the distance would be same as 4 cm. So what does a median means? A line from a vertex that divides opposite line into the two equal parts. This simply mean as a median. Median means a line that is dividing another line into the two equal parts. This all you have to remember right. Now the second part of a triangle is the altitude. Altitudes students it is also known as a height. So let's just understand this by a definition. A perpendicular line segment from a vertex of a triangle to the opposite side. So let's just understand this by a figure. Here is a figure, a triangle ABC and a line, a perpendicular line is drawn from a vertex A. Now students you have to remember that whenever the word comes perpendicular, it should always be of 90 degree. AD is perpendicular to BC. So triangle ADC should be of 90. Now the key point here is that as we have discussed earlier median divides the opposite line into the two parts but altitude does not. That's the only difference between an altitude and the median. Altitude always makes a 90 degree whereas median does not makes a 90 degree. Median divides the opposite side into the two equal parts but altitude does not. So here the BD is 4 cm but the DC should be 6 cm. It means to say that an altitude does not divides the opposite side into equal parts. So don't get confused between the medians and an altitude. The another topic is the properties of a triangle. Now the first property of a triangle is exterior angle of a triangle so exterior means exterior angle means the angle that is outside of a triangle now let's just see with the figure how does an exterior angle of a triangle looks like so this is a exterior angle which one the red one that which i have highlighted as we can see that there is a triangle a b and c angle a is the inside angle b is also inside angle c is also inside but this angle which is the outside of a triangle is simply known as the exterior angles right so an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its two interior opposite angles now what just this line wants to say us let us understand this by an example this angle 62 is considered as angle a and angle b is considered as 35 now i have already tell you that angle A and angle B are the interior angles. Now the red one here the exterior angle according to the definition it is saying that the exterior angle is equal to the sum 
of a interior angles both both of the interior angles so the exterior angle here in the example is 97 so this 97 comes from 62 plus 35 that is 35 degree plus 62 degree is equal to the 97 right so if any of the angles any of the two angles in a triangle is given we can easily find out our exterior angle so this was the first property of a triangle that is exterior angle of a triangle another property of a triangle is the angle sum property of a triangle this property is very much interesting so let's just discuss about this type of property so what does this angle sum property is the angle sum property of a triangle states that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 so we have already discussed about the interior angles so let's just see with a figure angle a angle b and angle c all these are the interior angles and according to this property if i add angle a angle b and angle c i should always get the sum of 180 right so in the given figure triangle as we can see that ab bc and ca are the respective three sides and abc are the three vertices and angle abc comma angle bca comma and angle cab are the three interior angles interior angles means the angle which is inside of a triangle right so this was about the angle sum property of a triangle now let's just understand this angle sum property with an example so that it clear all your concept so here there is a triangle given a b and c in which angle a is 55 degree angle b is a 75 degree now students you have to find angle c so as we know that according to this property that is angle sum property if i add angle a angle b and angle c i'll get 180 right so the solution is see here angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 and the reason should be angle sum property of a triangle so angle a is 55 angle b is 75 and angle c we doesn't know right and but we know that the sum is 180 now if i add 55 plus 75 i'll get 130 plus angle c is as it is equals to 180 now we know that the basic mathematics rule 130 goes here then it is a plus then it will become a minus so angle c would become a 50 so by using angle sum property we can easily find out the third angle if any of the two angle are given so i hope by this example you can clearly understand about the angle sum property of a triangle now students the last and the most important property in this chapter is the pythagoras property you might have heard about the pythagoras property this property is also known as the right angle property because the pythagoras property is always applied on a triangle that is right angle triangle right so what does this property wants us to say in a right angle triangle the square of a hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of a two sides now you might be wondering what is hypotenuse which are the two other sides of a triangle so let's just understand this by a figure here is a triangle a b and c as we know that the pythagoras is always applied on a 90 degree therefore it is also known as the right angle property now the longest side is known as the hypotenuse and that altitude on which our triangle is proportionate that is height is known as the height and the last side is known as the base so here ac is the hypotenuse ab is a height and bc is our base now according to the this property hypotenuse square is equals to the sum of the square of the remaining sides that is ac square equals to ab square plus bc square now let's just clear over this hypotenuse or we can say that pythagoras property by an example here i have taken a triangle in which our hypotenuse is 13 our height is 12 and the base is 5 now we know that the pythagoras theorem what does it is hypotenuse square equals to perpendicular square plus base square as i have already tell you that a perpendicular is also known as the height 
so don't get confused between the perpendicular and the height right now the hypotenuse square is 13 so hypotenuse is 13 perpendicular is 12 units so perpendicular is 12 and the base is 5 now according to the theorem hypotenuse square that is 13 square equals to perpendicular square that is 12 square plus base square that is 5 square now we know that the 13 square is 169 so if i add 12 square plus 5 square i should always get result equal to 169 that is nothing but an hypotenuse square so let's just see 144 plus 25 that is 169 so here lhs is equals to the rhs so simply the property means that if i take up the square of a hypotenuse then i should get equal to the perpendicular square plus base square that is hypotenuse square is always equals to the perpendicular square plus base square this was all about the triangle and its properties the parts of a triangle so students this was it for the today's lecture i hope you like the video you just make a note from this video i'll see you soon in another video okay bye and take care